Unfavorable weather did affect flying conditions on day three of the paragliding pre-World Cup 2013 that is currently underway in Billing, Himachal Pradesh. However, day four turned out to be exactly the opposite of day three as great weather conditions gave the pilots a perfect opportunity to successfully complete their task. Here are the details. Paragliding pre-World Cup in Billing has witnessed major fluctuations in weather since the past couple of days. However, there's one such place that's unaffected by all the happenings around. Over the years, this temple that's situated en route to Billing is worshipped by the entire paragliding community. This is because irrespective of the weather conditions, thermals can be found in and around the temple that makes it even more special. So much so that the community has also named it as the Temple of the Thermal Devta. Well, after the pilots worshipped this temple, the Thermal Devta did make his presence felt as the pilots as well as the organisers had been granted a perfect day for flying. But before the day could start, a task briefing by Ulrich Resip would always help. Today we have a 56 kilometre task. Uh, we, we take off and uh, the start is a large radius around B12. Uh, and it's actually, we're already in the radius, so the pilots need to go out of this radius, which is somewhere around about here. So they can wait on this ridge, or they could wait here and at the last minute they can go out. But in any case, they need to go out this. And then having done that, they then go to B12. B12 is a one and a half kilometer radius around this. And then from there, they go out, out into the front. There's the antennas on the ridge in front. It's a three kilometer radius. So it's about at the, the landing field. So they'll probably follow this sort of route or maybe more in the mountains and then coming out to collect it and then back into the mountains depending on conditions. After that, it's a 15 kilometer radius around B42, which is, it's about here. So it's uh, quite, a, quite a big cylinder and it gives lots of op uh, options uh, as to where, where to, where to go into the cylinder. So if there's a lot of cloud around, they can be further out of the ridge or uh, if it's clearer, maybe more, in, more on the main ridge. After that, it's back to B10. It's a seven kilometer radius, which is, it's about, about here, just on, just on this ridge here. Uh, and then after that, uh, BO2, which is just on the first ridge here. Uh, it's, a, it's a one kilometre radius, not so big, and then after that we go to A01. As, as always, the clock stops uh, when they get to one and a half kilometres of A01, and then they have to cross the goal line at, at the goal field. Followed by a weather report by David Hanning. I'm Dave Hanning, here at the pre-PWC 2013 India Paragliding is looking excellent today. We're starting off with a clear sky, clearer than normal, which would be classic here in Beer. You can see all the way along the mountain range with upper level clouds starting to pop early this morning at around 3,500 meters. Already we have nice thermals producing lift with a gentle east flow still expected to change to the west around a five mile an hour or 10 kilometer per hour wind base as we've seen throughout the week possibly increasing in the afternoon, which could produce some challenges. Contestants are headed back towards that big face for their last turn point. I see excellent flying today. Everybody seems happy. Looks like this 56 kilometer task is gonna come off in grand style here in India. The participants too were an excited lot since a perfect day of flying is what they all expected. Uh, today very really nice weather, you can see uh, no, not a lot of cloud, today we're looking really, really, really nice, yes. Today, uh, for how it's looking now, is the best day we have even in the practice days. So hopefully uh, the sky is blue, the thermals look quite soft, but I think in a couple of 
half an hour or one hour is going to be much better. And I hope everybody can make the goal today. It was now time for all the pilots to take off at the task that would last 56 kilometers. After a great deal of flying, it was now time for all the participants to get back to base as the task was successfully completed. Uh, okay, so today we finally had the weather on our side and we had a 56k task. Uh, I managed to fly to and follow the task and it went very well. Um, it's, been, it's been a good day. Uh, we've had, we've had, we have lots of pilots in gold, so I think everyone should be happy. And finally, the people got to see beer on a good day. The participants were surely an excited lot, and so were the winners. Here's what they all had to say. Today, I think in Indian rankings, I came in first. I got absolutely no clue what my timing is. Weather was, this was actually the first uh, good day since the event started. And uh, flying was extremely fast, extremely high. We were at 3,300 meters uh, today, so that's almost like 11,000 feet. It was a great day today. I think lots of happy people in goal and lots of people had fun, so that's the idea. Uh, today was an absolute classic flying day in beer. It's what we've come to expect. You know, three and a half thousand meter cloud base, uh, good climbs, good thermals, strong racing. Um, and you can see many pilots in goal, a really good day, yeah, a happy day. And uh, I came third, so uh, it's good for me, I'm happy. Yeah, t today was, um, you know, probably our first really good uh, day for weather. Um, although now there's a little bit of development in the sky. Um, early on there was very few clouds and a um, nice high base, so it gave all the competitors a, a, a much fairer chance to get in a good position for the start and um, end up being a, a really fun and exciting race for everybody. The weather was great today. We, we started much earlier to give ourselves uh, a better chance of completing our task and we had not too much cloud cover so it meant that we were able to, ha to have a great race. People climbing to 4,300 meters at the start um, and other people were about 3,000. Uh, good strong thermals today, so we were able to climb quickly from the low ground to the high ground. Pretty happy with my performance. Um, I, was, I had a good start, but not the best. While the pilots could now heave a sigh of relief, it was time for them to freshen up as a display of acrobats did help. The results of Task 4 are as follows. Matt Senior finished on top of the rankings in the Open category, followed by Jamie Messenger and Adam Hill. The women's category saw a clear winner in Isabella Messenger, while Kobe Jane Bowden finished in second and Claudia Bulgakov in third. Among the Indians, Gurpreet Dindsa finished seconds above Vijay Soni, while Ajay Kumar Sharma ended in third place. While Pavel Titov maintained his lead in the sports category, followed by Jim Mullinson and Will Woodhead. The leaderboards after Task 2 and Task 4 are as follows. Well, we only hope that the weather in Billing continues to remain the same as the participants can look forward to another great day of flying. Rest assured that we will keep you posted about the very latest from the paragliding pre-World Cup in Himachal Pradesh.